Hi, this is Phil Donegan with Hampton Hourly Administration. Uh, I wanted to talk today about uh, paid time off accruals for wage parity clients, uh, as well as New York uh, Safe and Sick Leave Act. Um, so the wage parity law allows you to account for uh, paid time off uh, from either a usage or, or also a accrual standpoint. Um, however, what's under the wage parity section um, doesn't always jive what's under what's under New York Safe and Sick Leave Act. And so there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of people that do it a ton of different ways. So we've kind of narrowed it down into really three categories of uh, ways that people uh, reconcile their sick time. So uh, with that, the first the first way um, that we're that we're that we're going to talk about. And so we're going to talk about this from you know a dollar amount. And then from a New York Safe and Sick Leave amount because they're different, right? So the New York Safe and Sick Leave Act provides time off, and it doesn't care about wage parity. Wage parity is just dollars allocated towards the employee's benefit. Um, so there's it's, it's a difficult process um, to, to reconcile. So anyway, with that being said, uh, we'll start with um, number one. The first way that we see uh, people do it is they're not taking they're not taking any wage parity dollars, right? So there's zero dollars per hour uh, that are going towards uh, the uh, to, towards any like pay time off type of accrual, and then what they're doing. Um, so from a wage parity amount that's zero, and then from a New York Safe and Sick Leave Act, right? They're providing what's mandated under the law. So they're doing one hour for every thirty worked. And that's on all hours, including overtime, right? So one hour for every 30 up to the 56 that's mandated. Uh, and so what they're doing on a monthly basis to reconcile with wage parity is they're taking used sick time off of the wage parity dollars that go towards the benefit plan. So what gets reported to us from the payroll company is wages, used sick time, and then we control the rest, which is benefits and, and flex. Um, so they're, they're doing a monthly reconciliation of their wage parity spend, but they have no front end wage parity liability from an accrual standpoint, um, you know, by doing it this way. Uh, the second way that we see is that someone is taking that. Now I'm just going to use a general number. Um, you know, the most common number we see here has been 50 cents an hour because you take 50, $15 an hour as the minimum wage and you divide it by 30, which gives you that 50 cents an hour accrual. Um, but for the purposes of this, I'm going to use 169 just because it's easier. Um, you know, and it's classified under additional wages. It can be used as, 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 uh, as your sick time accrual. So we'll say it's $1.69 for now, just for example, right? So some people are providing $1.69, let's say, for their sick time accrual. Um, and so from a wage parity liability standpoint, every hour of work, the $1.69 is going towards that accrual. So they have a wage parity liability that has to be reconciled at some point. From a New York Safe and Sick Leave Act, um, they are also doing the one hour for every 30 hours, you know, up to up to up to uh, up to the 56 um, per year, right? So there's a need to reconcile that amount at the end of the year, and the practices for doing that have been kind of all over the board. But we're going to narrow it down into really just two practices, right? So one is we'll call the individual accounting approach. Okay, and what that means is that someone is accruing a dollar amount. So this times their hours is going into basically a PTO bank account, right? And so on an individual level, every single pay period, there's money going towards this individual's paid time off bank account, right? Then what happens is every time that there is a, so there's deposits going into that, right? And then when sick time is actually used, um, there's, there's withdrawals from that account, right? So someone takes off a week, it's being, it's being with, withdrew um, from that account, right? So there's, there's got to be, there's, there's got to be basically two accounts managed for this, right? So there is New York Safe and Sick Leave Act, which doesn't care about wage parity. So one hour for every 30 hours, most time the payroll company can, you know, have this, has this in their system, right, to maintain somebody's, uh, uh, you know, accruals as they accrue hours. And as they use hours, so that is kind of one piece of it. And then the other piece of it is is the dollar sixty nine or fifty cents an hour, or whatever it is, going towards this PTO bank account. And then when paid time off is used, right, uh, as they accrue, 
it, it, there's withdrawals from that, from that individual's bank account. The other way that we've seen out there is for somebody to, to actually do this on a pooled basis. And so what they do is they have uh, New York uh, Safe and Sick Leave Act programmed uh, in the payroll system. And um, they're accruing, let's say, you know, 50 cents an hour, $1.69, and it's going toward kind of a pooled bank account. And the way that they reconcile is at the end of the year, they look at you know, what was accrued on a total hourly basis towards pay time off versus what was used as a group. So all of the employees used pay time off. Uh, and then they come up with a differential. And then what they do with the differential is really up to the group. There's a number of different things that they can do. Um, but they would then take whatever was the excess and, 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 and then have to have a plan for what, what, to, what to do with it. So again, in summary, there's really kind of three things that we see, and we can kind of get into this more in detail if you like. The first one is almost a monthly real-time uh, reconciliation where there's no accrual for paid time off, and the, uh, and, and the employer is taking the, the, the sick time used on a monthly basis uh, off of the net wage parity uh, that is that is that is then used to process you know the flex card and the benefits program, all right. Um, the second way, so we, we'll call this we'll call this number one, and then we'll call this two A, and then we'll call this two B. The second way is that they are taking money. So now all of a sudden, where you know they they're they're taking on a, a new liability. They're going to have to account for you know this dollar sixty nine from a wage parity perspective, and so the dollar sixty nine is going to go into uh, an individual's account, right? And they're going to accrue dollars. And then as sick time is used, according to New York Safe and Sick Leave Act, act it is then uh, taken away from this account on an individual basis. So we're, you're maintaining, again, individual bank accounts. And in the pooled environment, uh, a group is, um, a group is, 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 is accruing, you know, whatever it is, $1.69, 50 cents an hour, whatever it is, and then on an annual basis, they're doing a reconciliation, right? Where they're looking at accrued time versus pay time, and they're coming up with a, a leftover amount. Um, so again, there's a little bit more detail that we would need to get into. Um, but again, real time, real time reconciliation. And then this would be, you know, this could be reconciled on an individual basis because the individual has a bank account. And this would be an annual, more like an annual uh, reconciliation. Again, we're not attorneys. Uh, we deal with a number of different attorneys uh, in the industry. Uh, a lot of times the clients get us involved with their labor attorney. Uh, we have a few labor attorneys on retainer as well that are very good. And so the whole process involves uh, our clients' attorneys and their sign off of whatever the process is. And then we would then build the system on the back end to accommodate it. So we can be as little or, or, or as involved as, as a client wants. Um, I'd say a lot of the payroll companies are, are accommodating the, the New York Safe and Sick Leave Act actually in their system. Um, but then we have clients that, like, that would like us to program New York Safe and Sick Leave Act in our system. And then we would then uh, communicate to the payroll company uh, on a weekly basis um, what the accrued time is, what the use time is, and what the balance, is, balance information is. So again, we can do uh, either scenario and we work very well with, with the different payroll companies. I hope this was beneficial. Um, and like I said, we're here to serve, um, and uh, we want we want to we want to be as helpful as we can. <music>